Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kybor here, back for the first of our Mobile Mondays, and today we are going to be checking out War Robots. Now, it is on Google Play for free, as you can see here, and I downloaded it, it has 50 million downloads, 4.6 stars, um, by almost over 3 million people, I say it's addictive, good graphics, great gameplay, so I figured why not check it out. So this is the lobby area. And, I mean, it's pretty typical for a game. I have my points and stuff. Now, I played a game before this just so I knew how to play it. But, um, yeah. So, so far it looks like a pretty good game. You level up, you get points. So, that's good. I mean, it's basic. I do have some complaints. Now, as you can see here, the, this is the settings right here, okay? This is very basic. There is no graphics change. You can turn on sound and music, or turn on and off, and you can change lock on target. Which, I mean, lock and target's great, but it's like, really? Like, you don't even have any graphics settings, or maybe just volume a bar instead of just your phone? The other thing was, I went to rename myself, and I simply mistyped. Just like any other regular human being. And I hit OK, not really realizing I mistyped. So then I went, like anyone else would, to hit rename again. And guess what? It costs in-game money, well, the stuff you can buy with money in-game, to just rename myself to what I wanted to be. So that was a off-the-bat complaint and frustrated me quite a bit. Now... On to positive things. I was able to unlock a new slot for just 5,000 of the normal stuff, which is great. And this is the area where you can buy big, cool robots. So, I mean, I just bought a second of the same one just to test it. And so that works pretty well. So now, let's go to battle. Right off the bat, I noticed it took between only 5 or 10 seconds to get into the game with 50 million downloads that seems like a, it's appropriate and I think that's great because that was one of the big things that I wasn't too sure about now what you saw me just capture is a, a beacon I believe they're called and I don't understand the point of them this is a small complaint but they don't really teach you the game very well and right here is a pretty big glitch as you can see I am just sniping this guy from like Literally standing on the building that and floating. Which the game should really not work that way. But it's the way it works. So, the gameplay can be slightly glitchy. But otherwise, other than that, I actually didn't notice anything else. So, here is a little fighting. Um, as you can see... I, I feel like this game is very easy, and you run out of ammo very fast, but otherwise the game is very easy. I, I, I didn't die once for playing when playing for about 30 minutes, which is kind of unreal in a game. Um, and I'm just going to time-lapse the rest of this game so you guys can see what happens. So as you guys can see here, um, it is sped up, and it's a good thing I sped this up because the robots move very slowly, but it is very easy to hit people, especially with the auto lock on. Um, as you can see here, I'm just running around, standing on this edge, just destroying these people. And it's kind of sad, actually. As you can see, I just got stuck there again. Uh, it, I feel like you get stuck a lot. Uh, maybe if you have a robot that doesn't jump, you get stuck very less, much less. When you jump normally, though, it is so much easier to jump on top of things than it is when you, like, right here. You jump way higher than when you try to jump into something. It just stops you, which is very irritating when you're trying to go up something like I am right here. I'm just trying to get to this last guy. Of which, here I easily do, and boom. Boom, boom. He's dead. Victory. So, it brings you this little menu here, where it shows you your experience and honor points, and in this case I got um, 10 of the uh, special stuff, and as you can see, this is my little stats, and here's the team. Obviously, I did the best on the team, got a bunch of points, did a lot of damage, all that good stuff, and I, this is my second game, keep in mind. So, this game isn't really that hard. Now, on that note, 
I would say it's a very good game, as I just mentioned, and I would definitely play it. Though it is online, you have to be online. If you're in the car or sitting in an airport waiting to board an airplane, you have an airplane has a delay or something, I mean, it's great. And it really does have very good graphics. Um, I am playing this on the Razer phone, and though my phone did get pretty heated, the graphics, as you see in the video, are very good and very clean. I don't know if I had my full 120 FPS, but I think I might have. And for Beacon Game that was released two days since I recorded this video, I would highly suggest downloading it because it's top five grossing action and you don't even have to pay money for a free game with how good the graphics are, as I keep saying, and it's a pretty good time killer. I'd say definitely download it. On that note, folks, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to smash the like button for more Mobile Mondays, as well as go check out my other videos if you're not already. I'm into gaming. So, yeah, that note. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already as well, as well as smash the like button, because I want to see some support for this new series. And that note, I'll see you later, and have a tater. Bye-bye, folks.